Hey everybody out there, Dinesh here from Gibson Brands and we're here at the Gibson booth at Sweetwater Gear Fest and joining us today is our very special guest, Pete Dankelson of Pete's Diary. Pete, thank you so much, man, for being here. Hey, thanks. It's good to be here. Pleasure, pleasure. I mean, um, I'm always seeing your videos every day on Instagram and it just seems like you're having a great time, you're playing, you're smiling, you're rocking out and it really just kind of reminds me of what guitar playing and what music is all about and I just want to thank you man for being like a reminder to all of us I know sometimes we get caught up in gear and <laughs> playing and all this you know what we're trying to do with it but yeah. um, I definitely think you nailed it as far as just being you know great playing at home being happy in the moment Pete tell us a little bit about yourself because I think a lot of people don't know a lot about you as far as you know just the person behind the the music and behind the guitar kind of thing mm -hmm. you know so Give me a little something. First of all, how old are you? Uh, I'm 21 years old. Okay, great. And then where are you from? Uh, I'm in the Chicago area, about an hour north of the city. Yeah. Cool. Born and raised there? Actually, no. I lived in Michigan for the first 15 years, and then we moved to Chicago when I was about, yeah, when I was 15 years old. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, very cool. So, when did you uh, start playing the guitar? So, actually, it's kind of cool because it kind of ties into when... Uh, we moved from Michigan to Chicago. That's kind of when I started to listen to a lot more, you know, rock and roll and really got into music. So kind of right when we moved from Michigan to Chicago, it was my freshman year of high school. So that's when I picked up the guitar and really got into it. Yeah. Holy smokes. That's great. So primary uh, uh, way of learning, was it, uh, were you self-taught? Were you taking lessons? Uh, do you read, you know, read music, tablature? What, what's, what, what, how did you kind of get to where you are now? So, I mean, the main thing, um, I'm pretty much self-taught. Wow. And uh, I've gone on YouTube, really, and looked at a lot of lessons on there. And, you know, tried to find, like, you know, learning the, the scale shapes and chords and all that. And, I mean, that was really what happened when I first picked up the guitar, too. It's just kind of like, okay, I have the guitar, you know, start going on YouTube and looking up all these lessons. And then it's, you know, kind of go from there and see what happens. Right, right. I mean, I guess it, I mean, total tool for a lot of people nowadays to learn. Yeah. I mean, man, you've really picked it up and 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 made it happen. Um, I have to ask, uh, although we're hearing a sea of guitar playing right now in the background, hope you guys you can hear us as we're we're getting through this. Um, favorite band? Uh, well, <laughs> the favorite uh, I, I, one. That's a hard one, I know. Uh, well, the favorite one. Well, this is one of the reasons why I'm holding the SG ACDC. Yeah. Angus. Yeah. Very cool. And uh, are you a? Uh, what what Gibsons are in your collection? I've seen you. You have a few. I've seen a few. So what what's in the current lineup? So um, I think one of my favorites right now is the uh, SG Junior. Yep. I've really been loving that one a lot. And also I have a um, what's it? It's the '60s standard uh, Les Paul. Oh cool, yeah. Yeah, and then the other one too. It's a uh, actually it was the first uh, Gibson that I got as a Christmas gift yeah. about um, quite a few months into when I started playing. It's a, uh, I think, let's see, I, I think I got it right. It's a 2017 SG Faded. Okay. And so that's Faded, kind of yeah. the other one I've been rocking as well. And I love the feel of that guitar too. So those are kind of the three main ones that I use all the time. Very cool. Very cool. And I notice very simple, straight into a guitar. Um, and um, one of the things that I noticed, are, are, are you playing in a band or anything like that? Yeah, actually me and my band, we just came out with our first EP. Um, about a month ago so that's been really exciting it's the peter dankelson band and okay. uh the ep is called uh, all screwed up and that's you know out everywhere now yeah. that's awesome uh, i'm definitely be looking out for that that that's great i didn't know that you were doing uh music as well as as what you do on the on uh on social media so that's great man that's great well i know um you know one of the things like i said just back to you being a natural and just doing your thing self-taught super huge man um, I know you're here today to, you know, just check out some of the stuff. Uh, we wanted to keep it super cool and casual. So if there's any things, I obviously know the first thing that you want to kind of rock out for us here, this SG, which is awesome. And, uh, you know, I'll let you do your thing. If you have any questions, we're here for you. But yeah, let, let's have you try some stuff on that. And then, well, there was another thing that you wanted to try out as well besides this. Yeah, something that caught my eye that I really uh, got a kick out of, uh, the Lizzie Hale Explorer. That was really cool. Yes. Yeah. Brand new, brand new for us. Um, that is a killer guitar. We'll definitely go over some specs and all that for you. But yeah, yeah, just have some fun and, and let's just play some stuff and then we'll, we'll meet back in a, a little bit. All right, sounds good. All right, thanks guys. <laughs> Thank you. 
back here pete that was killer man <coughs> thank, thank you. you so much for letting us have you just rock out i appreciate it no it's good to be here thanks for thanks for letting me play yeah no so now i mean you were having a great time as usual again i feel like playing guitar now uh, it's fantastic uh it's, it's infectious man good so good. uh you we played three guitars mm -hmm. we started off with the sg yep. that we know and love absolutely and then i had you play uh two new guitars mm -hmm. tell me your thoughts on the lizzie hale I love the uh, I love uh, Lizzie's new guitar. That was a yeah. lot of fun to play. I mean, just haven't played that many Explorers, so and you know, it's just the uh, the red and the the Firebird has that too. It's a really eye catching. Yeah. So it was it was fun to play and and try that out. Very cool. It had a good bite to it. Yeah. It did. It did. I thought it sounded great when you were riffing on that, um, and it looks good on you, man. It looks Thanks. good. Yeah. I haven't seen you with an Explorer yet, so well, that might be one for the for the books. You I actually know? don't think anyone has. I don't think I've. I don't know if I played one before. Really? Okay. I'm thinking of it, yeah. Yeah. So on that guy, um, but you know, like, like you said, the Firebird headstock, it's still the same. Um, the pickups that are in the '70s, mm -hmm. um, you know, model that yeah. we that we make. And then you played, uh, last but not least, the uh, the new D uh, Dave Mustaine Collector's Edition. Yep. Uh, in the uh, Alien Tech Green. Yeah. I thought that sounded really good as well. Yeah. Uh, tell tell me a little bit about that. No, that was fun. I've always loved the the V shape, and uh, no, it was, and I again, I think this was the first time I played one of Dave's uh, signature models. Or yeah. even seen it in person. Now that I think about it too, so it was fun to to check that out and, and mess around on it. It was totally. really cool. Yeah, man. No, I'm glad that you picked the three real great, awesome pieces of of our little collection here. So uh, before we head out. I wanted to just touch base with you again. Thanks so much again for joining us. Um, do you want to just let everyone out there know, um, you know, what you have going on, uh, you know, your different platforms and, and what you got cooking? I know you mentioned the the new recording coming out with the band. Yeah, well, actually, it, it's it's already out. <laughs> yeah, all right, on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, it came out um, about a let's see, about yeah, about a month ago. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah, so, so where could we find that? So um, it's under Peter Dankelson, and it's uh, the EP is called All Screwed Up, and it's you know. The usual stuff, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, all that. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, for social media, mm -hmm. it's uh, Peach Diary, and that's uh, TikTok. Uh, 
<laughs> it's Pete's Diary, but I don't remember which ones are like the dot or the underscore, sure. you know, for all those. But it's it's Pete's Diary on, you know, everything else, you know, okay. Instagram and all that. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. So I, I'm gonna give you uh, something that you can leave us with. What would you say to someone that's picking up an instrument for the first time and that's interested in guitar? What advice would you give them? Have fun. That's always the most important thing. You know, keep sticking with it. Have fun with it. And yeah. Uh, yeah. And see, yeah, I got never, your theme music in the background playing at the same yeah. time. That's your that's your intro, outro music. You there know? you go. Yeah. But I'm with you. It's all about having fun, having a good time, which you definitely portray very well, my friend. You sound great doing it. Good. I hope that comes across. Thank you. Absolutely. Thanks again for joining us. And, dude, we'll, we'll definitely talk to you soon. So uh, we much appreciate it. Thank you. So there you have it. We're here at uh, Sweetwater Gear Fest. Dinesh here with Gibson Brands with my great buddy here, Pete. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. And uh, please make sure you, uh, you know, check out Pete and all that he's doing. Thanks, everyone. Take care.